Hey, it's Mark with Onyx Training. I'm gonna to talk today about maximizing your training day, and your training hours. Um, full video will be on Instagram and Facebook uh, if this cuts off. What I'm gonna talk about is first, is making sure that your training is relevant to what your team does. Don't do a lot of different stuff that you're never ever gonna do, boat stuff, if you don't have any lakes or oceans near you, whatever it is. Um, uh, two is train a bunch of different tactics to satisfy all your missions. Don't focus in on one thing like hostage rescue because then everything's going to become a hostage rescue to you. Uh, third, pack 15 hours of training into a 10-hour tra training day. This is going to make, make you more responsible and accountable to your training time. It's also going to help you to do pinpoint your training and do the training you need to train in order to get better. Okay, So, uh, let's get into it. First portion is the relevant training. Don't do like some teams. I mean, you can. It's not your team, not my team. It's your team, so you do whatever you want. But my point being is, if you don't have boats, if you're not going to board boats in your area, why practice it? You only get so much time to train. Train what you're going to do. Okay. I know teams they they would repel to have, in order to have team building, they had a person get catastrophically injured. Uh, broke their back or whatever, uh, repelling. And they said, hey, let's stop repelling. I was like, yeah, because not everybody's, nobody's going to be really good at it. And that's a very, you need to know what you're doing when you repel. I, I don't want to jump off the side of a building with a rope. I let other people do that, okay? So what's relevant to your team, right? If you do a lot of high-risk warrants, if you do a lot of barricades, suicidal barricades, practice that. Everybody thinks, well, we do a lot of that, so we're good at it. No. You're not that good at it. You just, you have to do them, right? You, you don't know if you're not good at it because you don't practice it. So you, of course you think, man, we're great. Look at us, we're bitching. But you really, you're jacking it up all the time. You don't know that you're not good at it, okay? So practice it. Look at what tactics you should be using. Look at what you want to accomplish, what goals you're trying to accomplish, and then practice that kind of stuff, right? So um, the, and the tactics, right? The tactics you're gonna do, don't just, I see some teams, they also really a lot focus a lot on hostage rescue. And it's a very important thing. I've been on hostage rescues. It's very, you, it's critical that you do it right. Um, but I see teams that practice that a lot. And then I'm like, well, how many rescues have you done? Well, we've never had one. Well, why, why are you practicing the crap out of hostage rescues, but you never do them? What do you do? High risk ones. Well, okay. In my classes, I talk about using the tactics and the principles in barricade ops and high risk warrants in hostage rescues. You can do that. And we talk about how that works and what that looks like. Um, but that's my thing is that, that make sure you're practicing and training the stuff that you do and work the different tactics to solve all the problems you're gonna come across. Don't try to make the situation fit the tactics that you know how to do, okay? And by that, I mean, don't don't make it like a barricade, right? We now need to go search for this person on a barricade. Well, we only know how to move fairly dynamic. Well, you need to learn to move very slow and methodical on a barricade, right? I've done those too, and you don't want to be surprised finding the suspect. You want to be in a good position finding the suspect. So. Thirdly, pack a lot of time in. If you pack a lot of time in, then uh, or a lot of things to do, then what you're going to do is you're going to stay on task and you're going to you're going to focus and practice what you need to practice. Don't try to go. Oh, we're just going to do some high risk warrant, some some uh, hostage rescue today, and you've got an eight hour training day, and you're going to try to stretch that training out to fit that those hours. You'll never do it. And if you don't do it, and you only train for like four or five hours, your agency is going to go, hey. We gave you eight hours, but you don't use it. So they're gonna take that time away from you. And when you get into a real situation, you're gonna wish that you had had more training time. All right? So remember, train what's relevant to your team. Train different tactics to accommodate all the problems you're gonna come across, right? And make sure your training day, you pack in more than you're gonna be able to do. So that you stay on task, you stay focused, you keep training, and you get a full training day, okay? Hey, if this, hopefully this gave you some food for thought. If it can help you out, answer any questions, comments or concerns, book any training, hit me up, mneal at onyxtg.com. Uh, you can go to my website, onyxtg.com. You can hit me up on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, however you wanna do it, you can mail, 
in the mail. I don't care. Look at my address. Um, we're here to help. So hopefully this gave you some food for thought and uh, look forward to talking to you later.